women CPAs work their assets off. I'm Valerie Leonard, co-founder of Grinkmeyer Leonard Financial, and let's face it, accounting work is not just for everyone, especially when you're balancing mom duties. Not only do you work impossible hours, travel like the globe trotters, bite your upper lip every time a box of receipts shows up on your desk, you manage a mountain of emails daily, and listen to countless stories from your clients about that one TV or radio commercial that assured her her expense was deductible. But you're also the CEO of your family. No wonder you feel like a legitimate superwoman most days. So what are other female accountants doing to balance their lives? Number one, improve your habits, not your goals. You don't need to set better goals because you already know who you want to be. Instead, try focusing on the one or maybe two things that you can do that will make the biggest difference in your life. So what is that for you? Maybe it's changing a routine. Perhaps it's narrowing your focus. What about having an accountability partner? Or do you just need more fun in your life? Could it be that simply taking action on what you already know you need to do might be the thing to do? After all, <laughs> imperfect action is better than no action at all. So take a look at the one simple thing that you could modify in the habits of your daily life and just focus on it for a few months. Number two, throw out the junk. You know you do things daily that aren't on your life's priority list. They don't make one iota of difference in your life or in the lives of those around you, but you do them anyway. So why not try picking one of those things and eliminating it altogether? It may just liberate you all the way to less stress. And number three, just say no. You can't possibly be everything to everyone. For me, I recently learned to say no by saying, I'm sorry, I can't commit to this right now, but you can certainly count on my prayers. And not only have I started saying it, but I mean it from my heart. This gives me the confidence to gracefully focus on my priorities, but it also gives me the feeling that I can make a difference by lifting up that person or their cause in prayer. After all, sometimes that's the best way to make a difference anyways. For more tips on how you can live a life on the North Side of Average, subscribe to my blog today, share it with your friends, or connect with me.